I think I'm single-handedly keeping this place in business. You know, I can never just keep things simple. I'm really not looking forward to lugging all these bags into the post office. Um, so I still have a bunch of addresses to write out because they didn't have boxes this morning. I'm hoping that I can find something in here. <laughs> I think I'm single-handedly keeping this place in business. <sighs> that was exhausting. <laughs> but a lot lighter on the way home. So this is Main Street, right on the canal. You know, today was just one of those days where I <laughs> felt like I was just making a lot of little mistakes. I, you know, I just, I missed little things. You know, even just labeling packages, I accidentally duplicated um, somebody's address having to rewrite that. I created an email to send to one of my coworkers and I never hit send. Just all these little things piled up and just were on my nerves today. <laughs> but I guess it's not the holidays without a little holiday stress. Um, but you know, I felt really great sending out the cookie care packages today. I think if we can all find a little way to spread spread, <laughs> spread a little joy to other people that it might make getting through the end of this a little more bearable. You know, I know last week was a little rough for me. I had a cruise cancel for February, which that totally sounds like a first world problem. I'm very, very aware of that, but you know, I'm just, I'm used to being in the air, traveling once, twice a month at least for work or pleasure or blogging in between. And clearly that is not happening. And I, not, I didn't fully expect it to go, but it's just, I need to get in some salt water and dig my toes in some sand. I I need to go and be amazed by something <laughs> other than myself. Just kidding. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually going to work this weekend trying to plan a staycation for later this month, somewhere maybe in Syracuse or whatnot. Um, just to do something maybe in the Finger Lakes Buffalo I'm not sure but in other news that I probably should update you guys on is you know this whole blogging thing and vlogging thing is time consuming but I actually had a viral video on TikTok <laughs> never in a million years would I imagine that this would happen you know I was telling a story that an old, and I'm sorry if you can hear dog water, it never fails when I'm recording, but um, you know, when I was a front desk agent for the first time, I worked with this woman that was about 15 years older than me. Um, they had just moved to the area and her husband and her came from New Jersey. And she used to work at this hotel as a front office supervisor in Atlantic City. And at one of the rooms, they ended up finding, like it had, you know, smelled, they'd gotten complaints, but they ended up finding a dead body carved into the box spring. It's a bit gruesome, needless to say. But, uh, you know, my TikTok channel is a combination of family hotel tips, a little bit of travel tips too. And I had kind of started getting a group. I had about 3,000 followers up until the other day. <laughs> um, I think it was December 2nd or 3rd is when I posted this video telling stories. Um, so it's a mix of stories, tips, and whatnot. And I've had a couple videos that, you know, got, I think one got almost 200,000 views, another had 75,000. But, you know, I usually average probably anywhere from 15 to 20,000 views on a video, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, I don't do this full time. I have a full time job. But, um, yeah, it was crazy. This 
video over the last five days has accumulated 1.2 million views and I now have 30,000 followers <laughs> um, which is insane uh, but I've kind of been trying to catch up with that because one of the things I try to do and I hope that some of you notice that on this channel and others is I try really hard to keep up with comments and engage with all of you because I don't know about you guys but I hate when I see accounts of people where I leave a comment on a video and they never end up responding even if it's a couple days later I'm like I get that my life gets busy but you know I really try to respond to almost every comment to the point when I was doing on this video I actually got flagged as spam uh, by TikTok that said you know slow down on your commenting just because I was replying to so many people because this video just took off so fast um <laughs> That is really cool. So if you're curious to see what that's like, I'll link it down here. I'll link my TikTok down there. You know, at first I was worried that I was too old to be on TikTok, but I'm never too old. Yeah, so that's what's up with me. I'm hoping this week to do kind of like a day in the life, show you my routine, kind of show you how I go about my everyday life, kind of show you what my job's like, my recording stuff, and go from there. If there is something that you guys would like to see please leave it down in that comment section. You know, I wouldn't be here making content if it wasn't for you guys entirely. So let me know what you want to see. Bye guys.